Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode where we take off another side flare and do some silly things in between. We don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it anyway. We hope you're not bored because we don't know if we're very interesting, but we kind of hope we are. But we hope we bring some good, fun silliness to the table. Hope you enjoy. Have water test, so we're going to take ourselves in there in a bit and see if she survived. So the sun is now blessing us. No, I'm going into the. Don't film this. <laughs> I get stressed. I don't anymore. I'm just drilling into the flare and then back into the metal. Anyway, today we're taking off the other side flare. I've been jigsawing our perspex for the other side flare because that is also going to be the incorrect size, and so we're going to have to fill the little gap. And this is our solution. It works quite well. Try it sometime. Unbelievable. And now I am going to sand those badges. It's that time again. Get her off, whatever this is. That hammer, and we're just trying to get into the gap with the sticky stuff. We are so close to getting this off. It's unreal. It's super stuck on, like right at the end. Very close indeed. I'm not even joking, this job takes a. Can you not get into the top bit still? I can, I'm just like trying to force it in from this side. The rivets still look quite stuck on those last two. Could pop at any moment if you've got it. Yeah, I've got this side. Trying to go up and down with it? Yeah, it's very really, uh, Yeah, I can see it. That's it. Just this top bit. Yay! Yeah, this is actually a better hole. How did we get these rivets out again? Oh yeah, you used the... Screwdriver. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, you went like this. Sir? Sir! Oh. Be the toilet. Thank you, madame. You're welcome. How good is that? Hey, oh, bloody tasty. Yeah, I thought so. Please stir your bars, I love the wheat. Please stir your bars, I love the wheat. Berries and the vegetables. Oh, that was a nice surprise. Do you know what it was then? Yeah, I figured it out. Oh, you got me. I am making a doner kebab. How long can I make this last? No. <laughs> it's time to get all of this off. Fun times. It's been confirmed women are better at cleaning than men. It took me a good like three or four days on the other flare to do this bit up here. SJ's done nearly like, I'd say over half. I don't think it was easier this time. Yeah, yeah, we had like no lip up there on the other side. Like that. I reckon we should have a clean today. We we'll could this back on to one. Yeah, I feel like we could. Spoiler alert, we do, and it's coming up in the next vlog. This show's absolutely smashed the cleaning. <coughs> Look at that. It's looking lovely. What are you doing? Uh, lighting an incense. First incense in the van. What flavour we got? Dragon's blood. Mmm. Is it blood? Look at that floor though. Look yeah. that floor looking tidy. When we do a little setup like that and we're like, yeah, we're working on the van. Look at that. Actually looks semi decent. So we're at that stage where we're filling the little holes. So SJ's nearly done with that. Now all we've got left to do is move the van back into position and hang our top. I kind of wanted to give the flare another coat, um, its first coat and fill its holes. Do you think I should just leave it? Or... Yeah, SJ's decided that she doesn't want to hang up her boots yet. She wants to go through and fill all these little holes that you can see here. Yeah. Look at that. SJ's already done the holes. We're all prepped for tomorrow. Officially, see you tomorrow time. Uh, 
feet really hurt. One lucky sunny day. Oh, it's See you tomorrow. You ever freaking messed around in a bush like that? And it all drops down the back of your freaking neck and makes you give it some of that. And we got off. Alright, this side is up for it. This is all broken fingers. Ooh, you're close. Trim a bit of that, bit, this bit as well. Oh. oh my god, I'm not looking forward to the actual shoulder pain of holding this again while you uh, do the rivets. Try. Good workout for today. Got to do my press ups today as well. Set myself a new challenge, didn't I? To do at least 20 press ups, if not more, a day. Six, seven. That was 20. Uh, ah, no don't do it on rocks. Just about get sunlight through the sun, the sunroof. I just keep my head here, then I'm okay. <laughs> She's gonna get a suntan right on that face. <laughs> Next step is for me to trim down by sanding the fiberglass side flare and then we'll be getting that badger on. Well, I'll paint it. So we're, we're making it so that it fits flush against basically where the cutout's been done. Because for some reason it's not flush and they've still fitted it, which looks gash. <sighs> right well, then, should we get back to work? Yeah. <laughs> So once again, we are testing out our Perspex solution, the makeshift solution. You can see the gap the here. This, this bit here is the problem. All right, let's get another test on. Test number one. Could shave a bit more off that corner. Is that where you want it? Yeah, but I've got to shave some still. So. Okay, but I need to mark it. So is that where you want it? Yeah, there. Okay, so it is that corner I've got to shave more of. Test number two. Mm. I don't know what to do. There's that whole gap there. Mm. Right, so it is that, that corner then. I've got to take the clothes off that corner. Oh, I'd have to clear out all on your own. Tell us about that. Size up number three. It's looking good, you know. It's looking real good. That is firm on. Yeah, straight. Happy with that. And we're good to go. Testing my bodge job perspex. Could do take off a bit there and it might come in a bit flusher then. All right, well done. Yeah. We'll, start, we, we'll glue on this perspex then. I think you are really fit. You're fit, but my gosh, don't you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled his trousers down while he was standing. And now I'm going to paint the van. What are the bloody chances of that happening? It's my best brush. Yeah, this bit here is looking quite bad. Okay, this was us. Checking your work. So whilst SJ busies herself with the Hammerite, look at me, I'm a professional vlogger. I'm sanding this Perspex that's going here, our makeshift solution. What are you doing? Sanding. What did you think I'd do? Expert wipe right here. <laughs> yeah, you should be alright to paint it now then. I'm scared. I'm scared of letting you have the responsibility. I'm a control freak. He does it better than me, I swear down. I let her have all of the fun with the spray paints because who doesn't want to have a tin that makes that noise when you shake it like that and then you get to go <sighs> all over something, right? And the sad thing is I'm a control freak and it still ended up like that. Alright, go on then. Here we go then. So since SJ has so kindly let me do this, we're using Genolite, Genolite, Genolite 
the original primer filler. Two to three coats, 15 minute wait in between. Shake it until you can hear the thing. You can hear the thing. I'm not sure I'm doing a good job of this. Looks a bit fucking slapdash if you ask me. Shitting on like that. It went a bit peaked on. It's quite tricky, you know, because it's come up like, well, will I need there? No, I'm not going to lie. From here, it kind of looks all right. But when you get on top and you look at it, and you can see my lines, it ain't great. I don't think. <laughs> that looks so bad. She is going to kill me. I don't know if it looked like that when she did it. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to just leave it or keep spraying. Here you go. Don't even look at it. Is it bad? Oh, not too bad. Or is that how yours looks? It's not bad for a post -tick. Yeah. We're in the clear, boys. We're in the clear. So for a first layer, apparently I nailed it. You've got a better angle this time to see what happens once it gets sprayed on. All right, we'll leave it there. See what happens. Go on then, son. Doing it. Go on, top and bottom. Now I'm uh, making that lovely noise. We're filing all around here because the cut has not been filed, it's not been treated, it's not been anything. So I'm just gonna go around and make it nice. Let's go see what SJ's up to, shall we? I've been busy filing. We're waiting for the flare to dry in between spray painting it. So we thought we'd get on with some other little bits and bobs, which has brought SJ over to this side of the van. What are you doing? Rust proofing. It's basically a massive hole gash over there. Yeah, yeah, you would have seen we discovered that under the mountain of foam. I'm gonna give it a good hammer eye and then I'm gonna red oxide the crap out of it. I'm gonna red oxide the crap out of it. Why I wanna clean these sides. Why is it sticky on the outside? Come on then, let's have a little dance. What? Just a dance on the floor. You can skid on this. <laughs> Never seen you looking so lovely as you did tonight. <laughs> you took my breath away. Ain't nobody here. Nobody. Nobody's here. Anyway, that's been our dance. We hope you enjoyed. <laughs> oh, it's an SJ does dancing. <laughs> the worst noise in the world, which, just to demonstrate again. That is enough of a demonstration. Are you freaking joking? No one's gonna wanna listen to that. That's over now, oh. it's stopped, that's finished. Okay. We're done with this, this tool can go away. Finished. The second one that we're doing now, we sanded quite a lot before we started painting it, spray painting it, and now when we're spray painting it, it looks a bazillion times better than this looks. So we're doing some post sanding. Feels better, so. It does feel better. No, I kind of realised. What have you kind of realised? I'm not very good at this. Why? This whole van building stuff. Why? I just don't think I am. I just think I'm, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm gonna do a good job. And I don't really. And, a, and I'm a control freak, and I have no control. <laughs> I've just had that kind of uh, revelation while I've been here. Because I've got big expectations. You just want it to be really, really good. I've been like, yeah, I can do this. And then realized I'm not that great. And you just come up trumps with saying I'm no good at none of this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's fine. I'm better than some. I'm better than the people that fit this. Oh. This is currently our situation. This video is sponsored by Multisolve. I mean, CT1, Multisolve. The handyman's handyman. <laughs> Watch this. Show the before. Oh! Over here. Okay.